Thank you for joining me. Now, in the previous video, we treated polynomial addition and subtraction of polynomials. We want to take that ahead a bit further by treating remainder and factor theorems. So, if you're dealing with remainder and factor theorems, you need a knowledge of something like this. Of course, when you have a question like this, you have f of x to be equal to 6x raised to the power 4 plus 2x cubed plus 15x plus 1. Now, you all you are told to do is to determine which of the following is a factor of this function. Let me recall, let me remind you of this. Okay, before that, just have, you need to have an idea. Of course, when you have, let me say you have 64 divided by 2, going by long division, you know how you do this. You divide this. 2 here you have 3, 2 here you have 2, multiply you have 64, then you subtract 0, 0, right? So this is long division as um, a method of division, which we fondly call long division. So this is uh, a similar approach to be applying to divide some functions as we continue in the video. So let's treat this one first. You have um, f of, a function of f of x, f of x. To be this, you are going to determine which of this is a factor of it. What do you do? Just pick each of these. You go by trial method. Yeah. You all you have to do is take equate each of these options to zero, then check, make them a function of this. Let's see what we have. If it is a factor, the whole everything becomes zero. Like let's take second one for example. Let's take x plus one. X plus one. Oh. X plus one equals zero. So you have your x v equals to minus one. So once x is minus one, put it into this equation. Yeah. We're going to be having 6 open bracket minus 1 raised to power 4 plus 2 open bracket minus 1 raised to power 3 and plus 15 open bracket minus 1 and plus 5. What do you have? This one will give you 6 because minus 1 raised to power 4 is an even power. So if you see be 1, so you have 6. Minus 1 is the power of 3, I'll give you minus 1, minus 1 times 2, you have minus 2. Then this one is minus 15. Then this one is what? Plus 5. Do you understand that? So 6 plus 5, what do you have? You have um, 11, of course. 11 minus 2, minus 5. Or minus 15 is not equal to zero therefore this option is not a factor of this function it is not a factor of this function so if it will be a factor of the function the moment we substituted minus 1 for x in this function we should have everything equal to zero so here we go what do we do we clear this to try option b not a factor. Try the next one. What do we try next? You have three. Three x plus one. So writing the function in full, I have. Um, I want to write three x plus one equals zero. So this implies that um, x can be equal to minus 1 upon 3, right? So you substitute that into this function. So you're going to be having 6, let me use this place, minus 1 over 3 raised to power 4, then plus 2. 
open brackets minus 1 over 3 raised to the power of 3 plus 15 open bracket minus 1 over 3 then you have what plus 5 what do you have with that let me just try to clear this down here so what are we going to be having minus 1 raised to the power 3 that should be 6 3 is to the power 4 3 is to the power 3 is 9 9 times 3 27 27 times so that is um, 81 and then plus this one cannot be plus it will be minus to be minus so you have minus um 2 over 27 yes then this one will be minus 5 plus 5 right so this and this will cross out 3 here is 2 3 here is 27 so you already having 3 over 27 minus I'm sorry 3 here is 2 is a mistake so 2 over 27 minus 2 over 27 and that is equal to 0 so that implies that our f of minus 1 over 3 is equal to 0 and that shows our what 3x plus 1 is a factor of this function I don't know do you get that you can play it once again and go through it that's how you determine if it's a function you can also equally go by the long division method but that will take much time I believe you get that let's have another example so that you have better understanding of what I'm explaining having this so you have this um let's say you have um the question if X plus two and three X minus one the factors of six X cube. Plus x squared minus nineteen x plus six. Find the third factor. Find the third. And looking for the third factor so we have this is a factor this and this both of them x plus 2 and 3x minus 1 are factors of this polynomial how do we get the third factor so we need to go by the long division just follow me let's go this way this is of degree 3 that's why we are going to be having to be two fa and three factors so we only have two known we need the third one how do we get the third one Use any of these factors to divide this. We get a quadratic expression, then you factorize that, we get a third factor. So let's go. So do what do we just do? Just go by the long division approach. So we have six x cubed plus x squared minus nineteen x plus six. 
I will go in. Let's. I want to use one of the factors. Let me use this. I think I will cool with x plus two. So x plus two. So you divide x in six x cube. That will be six x squared. So six x squared times x. After you have used this to divide this, of course, if you, if you have six x cube divided by x this will cancel one of these so two will be left you have six x squared left so you multiply back again six x squared times x you're going to be having six x cubed you get then this six x squared times two that will give you what 12 x squared so what do you do now you subtract right it subtracts now that's the next thing so by at subtracting this minus this you have zero x square minus 12 x square you're going to be having minus 11 x squared isn't it so you bring down this minus 19x then we continue again we do the same thing again x in this minus 11 x square that will be minus 11 x if you use x to divide just this you're going to be having minus 11 x well one x will cancel out one of these x so one x will be left so minus 11 x then multiply again 11 x times this you're going to be having um minus 11 x squared then minus 11 x times 2 that will be minus 22 x subtract again put in your subtraction sign you have this so you have minus 11 x square minus 11 x that become minus 11 x square plus 11 x square so do what i mean minus 11 x squared this is minus then this and uh, minus then open bracket you have minus 11 x squared so that become minus 11 minus 11 x squared so minus as minus become plus 11 x squared and this one they are the same thing the negative positive will cross out that's what i mean so you get that so that's what we will have there so come back to this space will be zero the minus 19 x minus minus 22 x that become minus 19 x plus 22 x and now we what I will plus 3x break down this 6 I will plus 6 you check again x in 3x that will be 2x plus 2x oh plus 2 rather you must only have 3x here sorry x in 3x you should have 3 you only have what's x will cut, cancel out x 3 will be left right so you have that then you multiply again 3 times x you have 3x plus 3 times 2 you have 6 do you get that in our subtraction you subtract this take away this zero three x take away so zero nothing is left now so what do we have now we have six x squared minus eleven x plus three so we have x plus two we have six x squared six x squared minus eleven x plus three 
So now this times this will give us the whole polynomial, this whole thing. We have this, we have this, we have this too, but we don't know this is a quadratic expression. We need to simplify this. So how can we simplify that? If we have this now, what will be the product and the sum? X factorize. 6x squared, 6 times 3 is 18. Then the sum is minus 11. So what can we do? I think 9 and 2 will find. So we can use minus 9 minus 2. So we have this is what we are working with now. We will be having 6 x squared minus 9x minus 2x plus 3. So we can group this now. Good. At factorizing what is common to both of them, we have 3. Open bracket, we have 2x. Okay, 3x, sorry. So we have 2x minus 3. And here you have what is common here. What is common here is only minus 1. Factor what in you have 2x. Then this one become what? This one become minus 3. So if you expand this negative sign, minus 1 to expand this, you get this back. So we are good there, right? If you don't know that, this is factorization. I have videos on factorization. Go and check it in my channel. you get it better. So here now, these ones are the same thing. Pick one of them. So here you're going to be having 3x minus 1. Then you have 2x minus 3. So don't forget, we also have this other factor, x plus 2. x plus 2. What are the factors that we know before? We know this one before. I think let's go up. Let's go up. 3x minus 1. This we know this 3x minus 1. We know this one too. So this is a new one that we are looking for. This is a third factor. So this is the third factor that we are looking for. Do you understand? So this I get the third factor for that which we are looking for. Let me see if you will get this out. You can solve this by yourself. It's a DIY. I love giving my students DIY after examples. So you can tell, find the remainder. Find the remainder when f of x. Which is this x cube plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 6. Well, let me use minus 6. Is divided divided by minus 3x oh sorry divided by x let me not just x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 yeah try that on your own if you can you know go through or you can get it done reach me via the comment section i will guide you with a solution provide solution for you and if you have any video you any topic in math you want a video on or physics just let me know i'm here to serve you thank you for joining me bye for now